Hi, Dr. J. It's good to have you here today. My name is Sierra, and I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you about posture and how it affects your, your breathing and your well-being. First, when I was looking through many different articles, a lot of them had recommended that when a child is at a young age, that you teach them the importance of good posture and to keep them from creating those bad habits of slouching and everything when they are young so they don't have that continuing problem for when they get older and you are able to keep them from having those bad habits. And uh, um, there are many different problems that poor posture can have. The first problem is having incontinence and when you when a person slouches, the slouching increases abdominal pressure, which also puts pressure on the bladder. So when someone laughs or like sneezes and they urinate a little bit, that could be a reason for having poor posture. Like that can happen because of their poor posture. And I read that on Harvard Health uh, Murkowski, she's a specialist in helping people overcome like bladder and bowel and pelvic floor problems. So when using the restroom and having bad posture can promote constipation also. When you're hunched over on the toilet seat with your knees lower than your hips, that can be why you are not able to have a bowel movement. Also, not having correct joint motion of the spine in the rib cage can also affect your breathing patterns. So when you are hunched over and you have that posture, the joints are restricted and stiff, so your sternum won't be able to contract as well as it should. Also, the respiratory muscles also contribute to the postural role in the movement system. Everything is connected to the cervical and the cranial portions of the body. So some different exercises I saw when studying this, the first exercise I chose to help treat you would be a goblet squat. So when you stand straight up and you have a dumbbell, having that dumbbell in front of you will help you beat the effect of gravity and your tendency to lean forward while doing the squat because that occurs when your postural muscles along the backside are weak. The next exercise I chose to have you do is called prone breathing. So you are going to lay down on your stomach face down and you're just going to breathe in and out. And this has been shown to position the rib cage correctly and fix the negative posture. So shallow or improper breathing methods can reduce the space around your shoulder joints, which can also further cause impingement and pain. And then the last exercise I chose for you would be plank rows. So you would have two dumbbells and you would do a push up and then you would lift one arm and then the other. And this exercise will help strengthen your back muscles and increase the ability to beat the effect of gravity.